Friday Night Baseball now from Fenway Park here in Boston. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Boston Red Sox. Should see some great battles out of these two next on the show. David Price, a southpaw from Tennessee, is the man on the mound. What's your take on him, E.K.? Well, guys, remember, he's not a lot of fun to face because he's got five pitches. As a hitter, you've got to worry about the ball coming in. Good John Gibbons lineup for the visiting Blue Jays. Steve, what's the key for him against one of the best starters in the game? Well, they're facing a guy today that throws a lot of strikes, so you're going to have to be aggressive early in the count. But Brought to us by down. Majestic. Any thoughts, Eric? Well, guys, the center fielder in this one, as good as anybody out there in the field, has a lot of speed, can cover a lot of ground, and most importantly, he's very reliable. Marcus Stroman, a right-hander from the Empire State, gets the starting assignment here. What do we need to know here, E.K.? Yeah, Matt, in his last start, threw a no-hitter, absolutely ate up his opponent. We'll see how long he can keep that no-hit streak going. Xander Bogarts comes to the plate to lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And the recovery is too late as he's able to beat the throw to first. Jackie Bradley Jr. will stand in back in the lineup. And he reaches for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out. Now a chance here from Fenway to take a look at John Farrell's starting lineup card. What's the key for them to win this series opener, Steve? Well, I think it's going to be really important to understand the pitcher that they're facing and make the adjustments as the game goes along. If this guy's in the zone, then be aggressive. Go up there, hack it. But if he's trying to be a... And two strikes, here's the pitch. Three. Now a half swing, but it's strike three anyway, says the home plate umpire. And that's out number two. And with a quick breather here, let's give you a look at the defensive alignment for the Blue Jays. It's brought to us by Majestic. Eric, what do we need to know? Well, guys, Josh Donaldson is an MVP-type player because of his offense. But his defense is just as superb. He makes great plays, very athletic. And with one away, time for a check of the standings in the American League East as you get a look at where these two teams find themselves entering play. Dustin Pedroia will make his way in now as you get a look at his splits there on your screen. Who now? Throws him for strike three, and that retires the side. Red Sox go down one, two, three. We'll move to the third with no score. Jackie Bradley Jr. is set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Well, they still don't have any runs on the board yet, so getting this leadoff man on base would be huge. This is well struck, high and deep toward the left field corner. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the left field wall. Around second, he'll try for third, and he'll get there as he legs out the leadoff triple. David Ortiz in now. Here, just a ground ball is going to get you a run, and more than that, it gets you the lead in this game. So you've got to find a way to put that ball in play. Catch is made. Runner tagging from third. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Two hits and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. A reminder, we'll have game two of the series here on the show in HD with coverage coming your way now. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight, judging by this bunch. More in a moment on the show. Maybe chase a bad pitch. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Red Sox, but they hold a 1-0 lead. Christian Vasquez getting the support. Well, the good pitchers really don't let it get to them. They know that it cuts both ways. 
Sometimes you give up five runs and your guys score you eight. You just have to focus on holding up your end of the ball. Just when you two. think you got a guy figured out, they start him out. Fastball, fastball. And break him down with an 0-2 bender. That didn't take too long. Here's Xander Bogarts now. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and it's pretty close. It's two and two. A lot of righty pitchers will throw that two-seamer to right-handed hitters. Make sure that pitch gets inside instead of staying out over the plate. That one ran just a little too much to that corner. Jackie Bradley Jr. Stands in looking to hold 0 and 2. Swing and a miss and that ends the inning. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. On to the back third tonight. Stick around on the show. Welcome back to Fenway Park here in the great city of Boston. Red Sox on top in this one as we get set for the seventh. But first, here's a look at our game summary to this point. Troy Tulowitzki will come forward now to begin the seventh inning in what's been a very briskly played ball game here tonight. And that's what happens when you get two starters that are on top of their game. It's been great pitching, great defense, not a lot of base runners, and a very even game through six innings. Holt arranged to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. And for you at home, all I'm going to do is direct your attention to the hits column right there. It is what it is here in the seventh inning. Edwin Encarnacion will stand in, and he, like so many others, hitless in the ballgame so far. High in the air and deep to left center field. Bradley ranging back. Gone! So a solo home run for Edwin Encarnacion. Home run number 16 for him on the year as the Blue Jays are even now at one run apiece. That great work he'd done on the mound. Well, it just got undone on one swing. He's gone from being in total control to we got ourselves a tie ball game. David Ortiz will stand in now to lead things off and he'll do so again. Swing and a miss. Five straight strikeouts now, and there's one gone. He's been able to get out when he needs him with that curveball, and there you see what his pitch breakdown has been. This lineup at bay. And he'll continue this roll he's on. Make it six strikeouts in a row. Gracious, two away. Oh, that could be the defining moment of the game right there. And he's got one more guy to get through in the inning, but that was a huge out number two. Here's the left fielder, Hanley Ramirez. As he swings and hits this one, fouled off to the right and set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. Seven in a row. Flat out dominant, and the inning is over. Red Sox go down one, two, three. Score remains tied one to one. Justin Smoke comes to the plate and he'll start us off in the eighth. First baseman, Justin Smoke. Here's the first pitch to him. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. And this will find the wall now way out deep into the triangle. And your go ahead run is in at second base here with a leadoff double. Michael Saunders digs in looking to send Michael something into the outfield that gets me up for that change up away. Line towards center field. Bradley is there and he has it for the first down. The relay throw and he is in there at third is the possible go ahead score. Devin Travis will dig in for the third time now. He struck out and bounced out in his first two trips. Line drive to left. The catch is made. Here comes the go-ahead run for the plate. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run's in to score from third. It's now a two-to-one ball game. Kevin Here comes the 0-1. 
Line drive to center field. Solid base hit for him his first of the afternoon. And this is something they've worked on in the batting cages. Taking some of the movement out of his swing. Much more compact now and he's seeing some definite results. Josh Tolley will dig in now. He's lined out and flied out in two trips. Been hitting the ball pretty well though despite the over so far. First delivery to him on the way. Swing and a liner. Oh and this is past him down the line. A fair ball. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Well, this was a wise decision here to hold on at first base. Even though that ball's off the wall, I think they would have had a good shot at throwing him out. So he holds on at first. Troy Tulowitzki will stand in for the fourth time now, still looking for his first hit of the ball game. And he's not the only one either. This has been a great pitching performance so far, and they've had these guys chasing their tails all game long. Trying to keep the game close. Here's the pitch. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. You gotta say, for a strikeout pitcher, not too many strikeouts here so far. And he's in a big and that may have had a bit too much on it as he can't knock it down. And now the runner from third scores to give him a very important insurance run. And that could turn out to be a very big insurance run right there. That makes this a two-run game now. And the way their starter's pitching, he may not wind up even needing it, but at least it gives him a little bit of a cushion out there. Here comes Sox manager John Farrell on his way out to the mound. And he's going to come get his starter here. So that'll be all this evening for David Price. So he'll exit after a good seven and two thirds, but he'll also be on the hook for the L unless things get turned around here. And William Cuevas will slide in now and try and work out of this one. Jose Bautista will be his first assignment as he steps in with two men in scoring position now, but also two away. When you're 0 for 3 in a game already, I think you're really happy to see a new pitcher in this ballgame. Maybe something will change for him. Hit high and deep out to left center field. Bradley going back on it. Gone! A fence scraper, but still good for three runs. So that's a big home run in his career, number 300. He's been a solid power threat for a long time now, and as we've seen over the years, he's been steadily climbing that all-time list. And I can tell you, it's a thrill every time you hit a home run, but obviously there are ones that are more special than others. You know, no question, number 300 is one of those special numbers. But some really good hitters never got there, so I can really appreciate what he's done in his career thus far. Yeah, well, you got a lot closer to 300 than any other living Los Angeles Dodgers. This is such a cool moment for this guy. And when you check the record books, what is there, like 150 guys that have ever reached 300 homers? So he's right up there with some of the heavyweights in this game. Edwin Encarnacion will stand in to try it again already with, I think that man right there is reaching the end of his wits. Oh, his team is absolutely imploding right now, and it basically came out of nowhere. Oh, there it goes. In the air to left center, and you can forget about this one. Back-to-back -back home runs. So a solo shot here to left center field, his second of the game, as it's now a six-run ball game. As a pitcher, and especially as a relief pitcher, you got to have a short memory out there. And here, he gets burned again on back-to-back -back home runs. Not really what you want to do when you... Travis Shaw will lead things off now in a completely different ball game since the last time. Patience wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. High and deep to straightaway right. Back goes Bautista at the track. Out of here. She was a wall scraper, but it counts just the same. A home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Home run number five on the year, and it's a 7-2 game now. 
Well, these guys still have some work to do, but this is a good start. Lead off home run, cuts one off the lead, but they're still going to need to manufacture a few more to get back in this ball. And with all the runs that have scored tonight, you'd think that, and this has been a pretty good comeback from that. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Red Sox able to get one. Welcome back to baseball on the show from Beantown, Boston, Mass. We're set for the final innings of this one. Koji Uehara come on now to start the ninth inning as he looks to keep this deficit right where it is for the bottom of the ninth. Right there. This is all the way over on the second base side of the bag. And if he decides to leave this one for the second baseman, forget about it. It's a base hit. Here's Michael Saunders now as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Oh, and this at bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0-2 now. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that is through into center field for a one-out single. Leading off the inning, Xander Bogarts. And they'll need him to get something. Look how late we are into this ball game, and that's the difference for him. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. Well, we've talked about it already, but this has just been an absolutely dominating performance out there. That's 14 strikeouts. Here's Jackie Bradley now. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. And you can see him trying to be a little bit more patient here. He's got two strikeouts already, but he's got to be careful not to fall too far behind. Here's a fastball at the knees. Good spot, good pitch, and it's 0-2. Yep, same pitch. Right back to the inside part of the plate, and he gets caught looking at it again. He'll take the turn and head for second, and that will hop over the wall now as he'll be awarded second base here. It's a ground rule double. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Pilar's there. And he makes the catch for the second out. And you know, he's kind of going through a stretch right now where the ball just isn't jumping off his back. He's got a good pitch to hit right here. Looked like he put a good swing on it, but it just didn't go anywhere. Chopped foul at the plate, strike one. He's set, here's the 0-1. A ball hit hard to the left side. And he'll put this one away, and with that, the ball game is over. Well, we talked about how they needed a good outing out of this guy. And he gave them that and even more, finishing off the complete game victory. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, really a dominating performance out there. Look at all the strikeouts. I mean, they just couldn't touch him. So that'll just about do it. For Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. The Blue Jays come out on top 7-2. to two. Good night from Fenway.